What is up my pond hopping friends and family? I'm out here today. I'm having a rough week this week. My wife got really sick with some food poisoning. And it, it's been rough. My son now has a cold. But I just wanted to take today, a little bit of time out of today, make a little quick video so we could talk about my new BFS rod and reel. Now this is a Cast King Zephyr Drag Clicker BFS reel. And it is on a Bass Pro Shops cranking stick that is medium light, fast action. Now, it has six, I just recently changed. I was using 10 pound braid on here because I just love braid. Uh, but I changed over to six pound mono. And the reason I went with mono is using such light line and you know, such light lures and everything, I, I really wanted to have something with a little bit of stretch, just in case, um, just a little bit of stretch, because I was using uh, six pound uh, floral leaders, and uh, those things snapped pretty easily, so I got a little worried, so went with mono, Been cast like a dream. The things I love about this thing is I can cast a 1 32nd uh, ounce jig, a good 50 yards on a windless day. Now, can't do that in the wind. Um, in the wind, I still, due to inexperience, get backlashes when I cast into the wind, but not as bad as you'd think with such light, light material or light uh, equipment. Now, a lot of times I'm throwing this little guy, which is an eighth ounce underspin uh, paired. Uh, it's a flashy swimmer, uh, eighth ounce owner flashy swimmer paired with a Rage King, a Rage, Strike King Rage Swimmer that is two and three quarters inch in the green and pearl. My favorite swim bait color. It's just the juice, can't help it. And water it looks like every other piece of swim bait fish out there. Overall, this thing with uh, this eighth ounce, I can cast it uh, an unbelievable distance. I obviously don't know exactly how far because I've never measured it, but this rod, one of the things I love about it is because it's actually a cranking rod. It has a nice bit of bend to it, which is nice because I, I like to do a lot of uh, mini crankbaits and they're treble hooks, man. With those treble hooks, you gotta kinda just lean into it. I'm not using worms or anything with this setup. Uh, nothing that I have to just set the hook real hard. As a matter of fact, this little swim bait is about the only thing that I use that I have to get a pretty good hook, uh, hook set with. But overall, I would give the, the rod, I'm gonna say nine out of 10 overall, since I bought this now, it's not, I've not had any problems. It is super smooth, it casts like a dream. The rod, <laughs> this rod is awesome. If you want a ultralight or medium light rod that has good sensitivity, good durability, and overall just has a good feeling to it, it's nice and light, uh, this is a good choice. The only thing I don't like I'm not a real big fan of this handle. I prefer the, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but when it has the blank uh, showing right here, so it gives it a little more sensitivity, I believe. I mean, to be honest, most of the time I'm casting, I keep my hands way up here anyway, but it's nice to have that little bit of extra sensitivity. Though. But overall, it's not like I'm missing any bites on this thing. It's still nice and sensitive. Uh, I can feel basically anything and everything. I'm worried that with the mono, I might not get as much sensitivity as I was getting with the braid, but time will tell, and I'll do a later uh, review to let you guys know about that. All right, and that's about it. So, Cast King Zephyr uh, Drag Clicker BFS Reel. I bought it on Amazon, and uh, got this at Bass Pro Shops, which is a Bass Pro Shops cranking stick. Medium light, fast action. Great combo, great pair. Very happy with both.